What's going on YouTube? Pope Eddie here with you and you are watching another edition of Not Your Average Vape Review. Today I have a review for Pinkies Up Premium E-Liquid. Happy Halloween everybody! Yes, I think you've already noticed Skull and Bones here in the background doing his dance for you. And we have a little black lighting for effect as well. So happy Halloween! Hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful Halloween today. Please be safe if you're out partying for Halloween. Otherwise, I hope all your kiddos get some cool stuff. I'm going to be taking a boat across the lake dressed as a pirate, and instead of taking things from the kids, we're going to be giving stuff to the kids. I'm giving out money, I'm giving out Frosties, I'm giving out candy, I'm giving out gold coins and gems, and all kind of different pirate attire from telescopes and uh, eye patches and bandanas and backpacks, all kind of cool stuff going on over here in White Lake, Michigan. So hopefully some of you are in the area today and you get to check us out on the good ship Black River, I guess we will call it. Anyway guys, we're going to start off with reading you guys from this card that was given to me with Pinkies Up Premium E-Liquid. Mike Meistrich, M-E-I-S-T-R-I-C-H, is the co-owner of this company, Pinkies Up Premium E-Liquid, for the sophisticated palette is what it says on the business card. And their website is vapepinkiesup.com. V-A-P-E-P-I-N-K-I-E-S-U-P.com. Four flavors on the menu, guys. The sandwich, fresh sliced strawberries and bananas held together with peanut butter and marshmallow fluff. This is definitely not your average sandwich. We have FAF, which is a fancy mix of lemon, lime, and creamy yogurt. Sliced almonds and granola mingle with diced plums to create a flavor that's sure to put a smile on your face. We have Cactus Chiller. The peculiar prickly pear collides with mouth-watering watermelon and tart kiwi in a refreshing light menthol blend. And Stuck Up. Crisp red and Granny Smith apples dipped in peanut butter, drizzled with honey, and dusted with a pinch of brown sugar. That's the menu, guys. That's what's on the plate for us today. That's what we're going to be checking out. Once again, Pinkies Up. That's the, the name of the company here. Uh, Mike was kind enough to send me all four of these for review. I will tell you right now, I'm not going to change my opinion on these. Whether they were free or I bought them, you're going to get a 100% honest review on Pinkies Up. I have two devices here right now that are pre-wicked and ready to go. Brand new fresh cotton on them. And I have two flavors I haven't tried, you'll get to see in just a second. The two that I did try, and I will let you know in the order I tried them. First of all, I wanted to mention, with this package, guys, I was also given two vape bands, one in red and one in white. And they both say pinkies up on them with the little pinkies up symbol, uh, which is kind of neat. Uh, the vape bands are always cool things to have. I know a lot of people use them on their tanks. I really don't use them because I'm not very clumsy, which is a good thing. But they do come with this package that I received. I don't know if they're in every order, how that works. I was also given this 3D printed Pinkies Up logo. And I know you can't see that very well from here, guys, but it's a little green logo with Pinkies Up. I'm not sure if this is meant to be some sort of vape tool or just a gimmick, but it was in the package, so I'm going to mention that to you as well. I was also given a sticker, which is on my printer in my home office. That's where I collect all my vape stickers, or at least until I run out of room. I was given the business card, I was given the menu here, and I was given a second menu, which I believe are the two flavors that they're actually pushing a little more than the others, and that's the sandwich and cactus chiller. So, oh, also, I got this cool little RDA stand, guys. This is also 3D printed. I have a Peerless in here right now. And this side is drilled out, as you can see, barely on that screen, I'm sure. There's a nice little hole in there to drop your RDA base down in. And then you can drop the top cap down inside on the other side. Uh, it's always good to store your RDAs this way, guys, because it keeps them from getting stuck. I've had a lot of them get stuck and I can't get them apart because I let them sit too long and they weren't completely clean. So make sure you clean your stuff, guys, and let them sit separated like this. You'll have much better luck, okay? Thanks to Pinkies Up for the cool little trinkets. That was pretty awesome. The first flavor we're going to talk about here, guys, is Stuck Up. Again, that is crisp bread and Granny Smith apples dipped in peanut butter, drizzled with honey, and dusted with a pinch of brown sugar. Now. I vaped this one out of my Modfather tank, I re-wicked, got it all fired up, ready to go, and I was vaping it, I'm like, okay, this is pretty decent, I like it. And it has 
sort of a tobacco style note to it. I don't believe there's any in here, but it did have that same sort of earthy tobacco note. And uh, that displeased me personally a little bit because I don't like tobacco flavors. But with that said, this one is super easy to vape even if you don't like tobacco. And there's none in there, but it has that note. Uh, because it's super light, okay? This is a nice light flavor. The apples are not too strong. Most apples are overdone. These are done perfectly. You can taste the peanut butter, you can taste the honey, you can taste the brown sugar. But, dun dun dun, spooky Halloween music, right? This one, guys, um, the absolute worst smelling juice I've ever smelled in my life after someone exhales it, okay? Everybody I went around, the day I vaped this, was extremely offended, and I stopped vaping it for that reason, okay? Delicious, delicious juice, but please vape this one by yourself. Uh, that's going to be the only bad thing I have to say so far in this review. Uh, this stuff stinks, and I'm pretty sure they're aware of it. <laughs> I, I do remember Mike mentioning something to me. So, anyway, stuck up. Uh, that one's going to get a 7 out of 10 for flavor. It is a good flavor. Clouds are good. Um, the BGVG mix is good. Everything's nice. It just stinks. And every one of their bottles, guys, also comes with this little charm on it. This one, for instance, has an apple, silver apple charm. And that's pretty cool. Uh, I thought that was just a neat little touch. Um, wow. Spooky. Apparently my light's overheating, maybe. I don't know. I might have broken the fan. Who knows? This thing made it through Carnival of Chaos, guys. Come on. Coming up next, we have the Sandwich. Fresh sliced strawberries and bananas held together with peanut butter and marshmallow fluff. This is definitely not your average sandwich. And this one has a little sandwich charm right on it, guys. Kind of neat. Uh, you can pull these off and use them as vape charms, too, for you ladies out there. Uh, I haven't seen too many dudes running around with vape charms on their mods, but, hey, it happens. Um, this one is absolutely phenomenal, guys. And that is coming from someone who cannot stand banana vapes. I hate, hate, hate banana vapes. That shit is on point. The banana is super light. Strawberries come through nice. You can taste the marshmallow, you can taste the peanut butter, and you can taste a little bit of bread in there, guys. So they've done a phenomenal, phenomenal job with the juice called the Sandwich from Pinky's Up Premium E-Liquid. I'm going to give that one a 9 out of 10 on flavor. Cloud production's great. PGVG mix is great. This one's almost gone, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I vaped through... All but about 10 mils of this bottle. So, well done, Mike and crew over at Pinkies Up. Now, I have an authentic Timekeeper and Goon, authentic Goon, fresh VTC5 battery here, fresh build. I have a Massimo Massimiliano drip tip for those of you who know who he is. Amazing, amazing work. That's going to be one flavor we test. And I also have an X ray box mods 2700 Smart PWM with a Druga RDA. Fresh, brand new wicks in here as well, and we're going to have to get started on these. I'm going to go with FAF first, which is a fancy mix of lemon, lime, and creamy yogurt. Sliced almonds and granola mingle with diced plums to create a flavor that's sure to put a smile on your face. So let's see if it makes me smile, huh? Again, I hope everybody's having a great Halloween. I am probably going to need my knife to get this open. Um, because I struggle with the seals on these guys, I honestly do. And uh, that's perfectly fine. These are, these are nice to have seals on. You know, they're, they're tamper uh, evident. So you'll be able to tell if somebody gets into your shit, which is a good thing. Sorry if you guys can hear the TV banging in the background from upstairs. We're going to give this a nice little sniffer. Okay, now the initial smell of this, guys, leads me to believe there might be some bergamot in here, so I'm going to do my best to review it from an average person's point of view versus myself. Who does not like bergamot? Um, and I'll be able to let you know once I drip this into, I believe, I guess we will use the Timekeeper and Goon. Again, fresh wicks. I don't know if you guys can tell from that distance, but brand new, brand new build on here, guys. And we're going to give it some hell right now and load her up with FAF from Pinkies Up Premium E-Liquid. Slowly but surely, we're going to get to the bottom of this, or the top, depends how you look at it, huh? Getting her all good and juicy. 
Again, brand new VTC5A.1 build on here. These coils are from Kirk Anthony Lawrence Medecki. Calm coils on Instagram, K A L M. And you can find him on Facebook as well. He is in the Loaded family. He's in Vape Nation. He's in Convicted Vapes. Uh, quite a few groups, guys, where this guy is able to take care of you with your coil build needs. And I promise you, you will not be upset with the amount of work that he puts into these guys because these are just phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal coils. Now, I've actually overdripped here quite a bit. Um, which is common for me. That's why I usually run tanks like my mod father that I run all the time. Just trying to burn off a little bit of that stuff, guys. Um, it doesn't smell bad at all. I can tell you that. It doesn't smell like it has entirely too much bergamot in it. Um, I'll be able to tell you as soon as we give this a rip here, and I'm probably going to get a little straw action as well. Okay guys, that is absolutely completely different than what it smells like, which is good. Probably shouldn't blow towards the camera, you can't see what's going on. I'm definitely getting the lemon and lime in here, the yogurt comes through nicely. It is not overdone by any means uh, as far as the citrus goes, which I know some people can be sensitive to. Uh, this is a very well done juice. Um, the granola comes through as well. As far as diced plums, I mean I haven't had a plum in quite some time, so to tell you what I think a plum tastes like anymore I can't recall. Um, everything else in here guys is coming through very well, and this is an amazing, amazing breakfast vape that I think could turn into an ADV for me to be quite honest with you. Uh, super, super impressed with the quality of this juice guys, and I'm super impressed with the flavor of this specific one, FAF. I'm sure we can all figure out what that stands for. Pinkies up, FAF, fancy as, yeah, more than likely. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that, guys, that was not told to me, so uh, use your own imagination, but FAF flavor is going to get a 10 for me, guys. That stuff is off the chain, and it's not hard to vape, I promise you. It's not one of those tickly citruses, guys. This stuff is good. Cloud production is exactly where it should be, so we're going to give that one a big thumbs up from Pope. Coming up next, I have got Cactus Chiller, which I also have to hack the shit out of to get open because, again, I am tamper-evident seal challenged, guys. So it is what it is, you know. Uh, some of us can rip these things off, no problem. Some of us fight with them like I do. All in all, it's nice to have... And uh, I forgot to tell you, FAF has a picture of what would look to be like an, a lemon or a lime wedge that you would get in your drink at the local bar as the charm. And Cactus Chiller has a cactus. So, again, for you ladies that might be interested in some really, really sophisticated juice, which is the way they described it themselves, this stuff is cool and it comes with a little vape charm for you. Or, guys, give it to your girlfriend, give it to your wife, give it... I wouldn't give it to your kid. A uh, little rubber thing. Might might be a choking hazard, but give it to your wife or your girlfriend. That'd be a great idea. Uh, we're going to give Cactus Chiller a run for its money. Once again, that's the peculiar prickly pear. Collides with mouth-watering watermelon and tart kiwi and a refreshingly light menthol blend. Smells absolutely delicious. And we're going to get the coils wicked up on the old Druga here. Slowly but surely. And we're almost done, I promise. Ooh. I don't know why it's doing that, guys. Uh, it did go through Carnival of Chaos, like I mentioned, which is a three-day music festival. And, uh, well, it... It saw a lot of shit, so there's a good chance that maybe it's uh, protesting. I don't know. Smells absolutely divine. We will see how it tastes here in just another second. I want to make sure I have enough on there. Quite a bit of wick and quite a bit of coil fits in this Druga RDA, guys. If you guys don't have one, I think they're around 30 or 35 bucks, and they're really nice. 
I did a live review on this in Vape Nation on Facebook, link in the description. By the way guys, I have to mention, if you have not done so already, please click the little red subscribe bar at the bottom and click the bell icon as well. That way you are notified every time we put a video up here on Not Your Average Vape Review. So, here goes nothing, Cactus Chiller guys, you know I'm not a big menthol fan, but some companies have been bringing me around, so we'll see if Pinkies Up can bring me around also. The menthol is so light, guys, that it's just an afternote. Absolutely phenomenally well done with the menthol, guys. I, I'm not at all complaining about the amount of menthol in this. This is done perfectly. You guys notice a lot of watermelon juices get that feeling. I'm not getting that from, the, from here. I'm able to taste the prickly pear, the kiwi, and the watermelon. They are all blended absolutely perfectly. Whoever is in charge over there at Pinkies Up E-Liquid, guys, these are some of the best juices I've tried in quite some time. Uh, this one's going to get a 10 of 10 as well, even though it's a menthol, so that's that says something right there. Um, flavor is, is amazing. Cloud production, let's give it a rip. Totally cloudy. There's going to be a car clock go off in the background here, guys. I am at my house doing this, and the clock goes off every hour as long as it sees light. So you're going to hear a car. I do apologize for that. I probably should have timed my review a little differently. Uh, overall, guys, every flavor here was good. Amazing, actually. Um, the only complaint I have is about stuck up and the way that it smells. Everybody around me was completely offended. With that said, Buy it anyway and vape it in your house, guys, because holy shit is it good. Uh, if you have one of those relatives maybe that you're not uh, super fond of, take it over there and vape it with them. <laughs> There's the car. That car haunts me in every live video I do, and now it has finally made its way onto the Not Your Average Vape Review Show. So, once again, guys, VapePinkiesUp.com, Michael Meistrich, co-owner from Pinkies Up Premium E-Liquids. This stuff is off the chain. Um, I don't know price points, guys, because if I don't pay for it, I'm not going to go look it up. I, I'm one of those guys that I'm just going to give you the review, because that's what you want anyway, is to know how this stuff is. Absolutely phenomenal, every single flavor. Every flavor in them is blended together perfectly, very well done. So, with that said, guys, we're going to give you a cloud out using FAF, which I think I will be comfortable saying is my favorite flavor of the four. That's FAF. Pinkies up, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget, check us out at PopeJuice.com. Check out Vape Nation on Facebook. Check out Pope's Deals, Reviews, and Blessings on Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.